Good evening and welcome to Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. We bring you trusted news and events that honor our rich South Asian culture and celebrate our vibrant community. I'm Nidhi Kasuria joining you from our ITV Gold Studio in New Jersey. In the news this evening, Montgomery Hindi School celebrates 10th year of Garba. NRI 1 spotlights Hyderabad's hottest projects in association with ASBL. Wahida Rahman receives Dada Saab Falke Award. Alia Bhatt and Kriti Sanan share Best Actress Honours at 69th National Film Awards. Pankaj Tripathi wins Best Supporting Actor Accolade at National Film Awards for Mimi. Rocketry The Numbi Effect wins Best Feature Film Award at National Film Awards. Kriti Kulhari and Jim Sarp do star in True Story on Muscular Dystrophy, titled Such as Life. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community for news in detail right after this short break. The Montgomery Hindi School's Garba held on October 13th showcased cultural vibrancy, bringing together over 850 attendees. Founded by Mrs. Sudha and Dr. Shiv K. Agarwal, the school, along with Marlboro Hindi School, operates under the non-profit organization HICA USA. Senator Andrew Zicker and Deputy Mayor Nina Singh attended, amongst other prominent personalities. The school has been preserving Hindi language and Indian culture for over 13 years. The event featuring the traditional Indian dance form Garba underlines the importance of connecting with one's cultural roots and celebrating identity and community. <laughs>
On October 14th, NRI-1, in collaboration with ASBL, gathered 400 global Indians at the Mirchi Homestyle Cuisine Indian Restaurant in New Jersey. The event highlighted the growing trends of NRIs investing in Indian real estate, particularly in cities like Mumbai, Bangalore, Delhi, Pune and Chennai, known for their luxury and convenience. In partnership with ASBL and Gold Parif Meri, NRI1 introduced the audience to Hyderabad's real estate developments featuring premium 3 BHKs in the financial district. The event fostered networking among like-minded individuals while offering insights into the city's burgeoning real estate market. NRIs integral to India's real estate scene found valuable investment opportunities and lifestyle choices at the event. Take a look. Separate project area and all, all these things. And then when it does come out with the rest of the state of the art uh, facilities like uh, customers, Right, so some component of the living, outdoor living, right, and then we have got a, a planter wall, you know, planter box set up where somebody can grow a tree up to the height of four to five feet, right, and it's got all the water related infrastructure in place, so one needs not worry about water in the plant and things like that. So I think, yeah, so to, to wrap it, so, you know, our key USP is uh, how do we take in, you know, feedback from consumers on a real time basis and design that and, and how do you harness the power of technology in uh, delivering these communities <coughs> on time, right? So that's the key USB of the land. Hello everybody, this is Shekhar Bhardwaj from NRI1. We are very, very happy to be back in the United States of America. We are live from New Jersey today. What we can see here is a great turnout of our Indian community for our upcoming projects in Hyderabad through ASBL. As you all are aware that we've been working very, very uh, we are working in a very large capacity in our Bahrain markets, Dubai markets, Asia Pacific and Singapore, uh, Bangkok, Hong Kong uh, markets in a very, very refined way and in a very, very successful way with our Indian communities for their investment needs. We are back in America markets now to host the Indian real estate shows and the Indian real estate festival. Uh, I would like to invite and communicate to all our investors and home buyers that they can attend the NRI1 uh, exhibitions and private events to cater all their requirements about Indian real estate investments. And also, I would like to communicate back home to all our clients the leading Indian real estate companies across Indian cities, Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Pune, Ahmedabad, and many other uh, uh, you know, cities where we've got projects for NRIs, that we are open for business in American markets, and we would like to invite you all on our platform. Uh, hello everyone, this is Ajitesh. I'm the CEO of ASBL. I'm really happy to be here in New Jersey. So we are, as, uh, as, as part of our customer meet and greet program, we are, me and my team from ASBL are uh, in New Jersey and next week in uh, Santa Clara to meet uh, you know, NRIs and you know, to talk with them and you know, to discuss what are their pain points from the point of view of housing and what are their viewpoints so, you know, and to you know, exchange views on that. So I'm really glad to be here and uh, we have got a good session until now. And uh, I would like to talk about one of our recent launch, uh, ASBL Loft in uh, Financial District. So it's a three, uh, exclusive 3 BHK community, G plus 45 floors. So I would ask uh, those who are interested to ch you know, check it out. And uh, yeah, and uh, in case for those of you who are in uh, uh, Santa Clara region, I'm really looking forward to meet you next, uh, next Saturday from 12 to 4.30. So an another token of appreciation I would like to do for our uh, partners here, NRI1 team with whom we have developed extensive uh, and you know, deep relationship. We've been doing various customer reach out programs in uh, Singapore, Bahrain, Jakarta and now in US. So you know, I would really thank NRI1 for, uh, you know, to further take the message out there and you know, uh, you know, get, connect, the, connect the prospective customer and the developer. I really like the work they're doing here. Uh, hi, uh, I'm uh, Aditya, this is my wife Priyanka. Hi. We are first time uh, investors. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, I we got to know about ASBL in specifically uh, from uh, a couple of uh, uh, friends of us. Uh, but uh, you know, overall, I think as NRIs, uh, you know, having more 
transparency over the uh, process of uh, you know investing in a foreign land is definitely useful um, I liked uh, when I got to hear from other investors uh, in, in my shoes I met some people who have been investing for a while so I got to network with them get some useful insights things I need to look for uh, things that's useful for uh, from an investor standpoint um, ideas that I was not aware of uh, in, in the past so definitely as a networking uh, event this I, I would say it's quite helpful um, if you're looking to invest in general this is definitely an event that um, I would recommend uh, to uh, attend um, not not just f uh, for the from the ASBL standpoint I, of course their their uh, insights were another uh, part of the piece but uh, I, it was quite informative um, I had I mean I had done my own research but uh, I did have some questions on my own that uh, was uh, answered quite clearly, so I was very thankful for that. Veteran actress Vahida Rahman received the Dada Saab Falke Lifetime Achievement Award at the 69th National Award at Vigyan Bhavan in the national capital on October 17th. Take a look. This hall undoubtedly is replete with not only applause but the immense love that the entire nation, including the film industry, will continue to have for one and only and very iconic Vahida Rahman Ji. Piyato Se Nana Lage Re Ma'am continues to live across many, many generations. We want to tell you that. And your smile takes it all. Yeah, both push I'm very happy.
In a remarkable dual victory at the 69 National Film Awards, Bollywood sensations Alia Bhatt and Kriti Sanon both secured the Best Actress Awards for their outstanding performances. The ceremony, which took place at Vigyan Bhavan in New Delhi on October 17th, witnessed President Draupadi Murmu presenting the honours. Alia Bhatt received the accolade for her role in Gangu Bai Kathiawadi. Kriti Sanon was recognized for her remarkable performance in Mimi. Take a look. Alia Bhatt's versatile performance of an innocent girl trapped in the flesh trade who rises up to become the voice of the woman, Gangubai, underlining the fact that everyone deserves... It was a very big moment as usual, I mean, as ob but obvious, <laughs> and um, I'm very grateful, thank you. Respect, no matter what your gender and profession is. Film Mimi ke liye sarshreshth abhinetri ke purastar ke vijeta abhinetri of the surrogate mother facing social backlash and personal internal conflict. Beautifully essayed by Kriti Sanal, sarshreshth abhinetri ka purastar. Very overwhelmed and um, feeling very blessed and a lot of gratitude and this was a very special moment especially because it's for Mimi and also my parents were there here watching me. I think, yeah, I, I don't think I've felt this before. Producer Varghese Smulan and actor-director R. Madhavan received the award for Best Feature Film, Rocketry, The Numbi Effect at the National Film Awards. President of India, Draupadi Murmu presented the award to Madhavan at the ceremony held at Vigyan Bhavan in the national capital on October 17th. Take a look. I feel very uh, happy and proud. Thank you very much. It was a lovely award and feels gratifying. Red Bison Productions, a New Jersey-based studio, unveiled their upcoming film, Such as Life, at an event held at the Goa restaurant in New York City. Inspired by a remarkable true story, the film narrates the journey of a mother and a three-year-old son battling multiple dystrophy. This emotionally charged project, born from two years of rigorous research, chronicles a family's relocation from Kashmir to the United States in a desperate bid to save their son, who grapples with daily uncertainty and the threat of death. The movie stars the 2023 Emmy-nominated actor Jim Sarb, renowned for his work in Rocket Boys, Made in Heaven and Mrs. Chatterjee vs. Norway, alongside Kirti Kulhari, acclaimed for her roles in Four More Shots, Uri, Pink and Criminal Justice. Rahul Bhatt and Romila Saraf Bhatt serve as the producers, while Harsh Mahadeshwar handling the writing and directing duties. Production for Such as Life is scheduled to commence in April of 2024 with filming locations spanning Kashmir, New Delhi, New Orleans, New Jersey and New York. Tune in this Friday at 9pm EST for Kamal Amrohi's masterpiece Pakiza starring Meena Kumari and Raj Kumar. 
On Saturday at 1 p.m., EST watched the comedy film Fir Hera Feri starring Akshay Kumar, Sunil Shetty and Paresh Rawal, written and directed by Neeraj Vora. On Super Hit Sunday at 3 p.m., EST watched the action comedy film Avara Pagal Diwana, starring Akshay Kumar, Sunil Shetty, Paresh Rawal and Aftab Shivdasani. Thank you for watching Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community tonight. We value your feedback on community news coverage. Email us at events at itvgold.com. Stay connected on Facebook at ITV Gold and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get a free copy of Desi Talk in Tri-State or Chicago. Visit www.newsindiatimes.com. Thanks for tuning in. This is Nadi Kathuria signing off.